What happens to the female body when squirting occurs? Introduction Squirting is a topic that has fascinated scientists, researchers, and the general public alike. Some women experience it, while others don't. But does it truly matter? More importantly, what actually happens in the body when it occurs? In this article, we'll dive into the science behind squirting, its connection to female anatomy, and how women perceive the experience. We'll also discuss the misconceptions surrounding it and what research tells us about its physiological and psychological impact. Understanding the Female Anatomy To comprehend the mechanism of squirting, we first need to understand the female urinary and reproductive systems. The urethra, often referred to as the pee tube, is responsible for carrying urine from the bladder out of the body. Surrounding this structure are the skein's glands, which many scientists consider the female equivalent of the male prostate. These glands develop from the same embryonic tissue that forms the prostate in men, and are believed to produce a fluid that is released during sexual arousal or orgasm. The Science Behind Squirting During sexual stimulation, the skein's glands may fill with fluid. Some theories suggest that the contraction of pelvic floor muscles during orgasm applies pressure on these glands, leading to the expulsion of fluid through the urethra. Unlike urine, this fluid often contains prostate-specific antigen, PSA, an enzyme also found in male seminal fluid. However, studies have shown that the expelled liquid can sometimes contain traces of diluted urine, leading to an ongoing debate over its composition. A 2014 study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine used ultrasound imaging to examine the bladders of women before and after squirting. Researchers found that the bladder filled up before the event and emptied afterward, suggesting that at least part of the fluid originates from the bladder, though it is often mixed with secretions from the skein's glands. Squirting versus Female Ejaculation while many people use the terms squirting and female ejaculation interchangeably, they are not exactly the same. Female ejaculation typically refers to the release of a small amount of milky or whitish fluid, rich in PSA and other proteins. In contrast, squirting involves a larger volume of clear liquid and may have a different composition. Studies indicate that around 40% of women report experiencing female ejaculation but squirting remains a less commonly reported phenomenon. How Women Feel About Squirting Since research on squirting is still relatively limited, a group of Swedish scientists conducted a study to explore how women personally experience and perceive it. They interviewed 28 women who self-identified as squirters and found three major themes in their responses. 1. A sense of empowerment and pride. Many women described squirting as an exciting discovery in their sexual journey. Some actively sought to learn how to do it through workshops, reading, or experimentation with partners. These women often felt a sense of uniqueness and even viewed squirting as a sexual superpower. 2. Indifference or lack of connection to orgasm For some women, squirting was a neutral experience. They didn't associate it with heightened pleasure or orgasm, and some only noticed it because of the wet sheets afterward. This finding suggests that squirting does not necessarily equate to a more intense or fulfilling sexual experience. 3. Discomfort and Embarrassment A portion of the women found squirting inconvenient, messy, or even distressing. Some initially thought they were urinating, and felt embarrassed. Cultural and personal beliefs also played a role in shaping their feelings toward it. In societies where female sexuality is more stigmatized, women were more likely to experience shame or confusion about their body's response. Breaking the Myths Squirting has often been portrayed in adult media as a sign of ultimate pleasure, but scientific studies reveal that the experience varies widely. It's crucial to debunk the myth that a woman who doesn't squirt 
is missing out, or has an unsatisfactory sex life. The truth is, squirting is simply one physiological response among many, and its presence or absence does not determine the quality of a woman's sexual experience. Another common misconception is that all squirting is purely urine. While research suggests that some of the expelled fluid originates from the bladder, the presence of PSA and other markers from the skein's glands confirms that it is not just urine, but a unique blend of different secretions. The role of the mind in sexual response. Psychological factors significantly influence how women perceive squirting. Women who feel comfortable and confident in their sexuality are more likely to embrace the experience positively. Conversely, those who have been conditioned to feel shame about their bodies may associate it with embarrassment or discomfort. Studies on sexual health suggest that relaxation and an open mindset can enhance pleasure and reduce anxiety. Many women who initially felt uncomfortable with squirting later grew to appreciate it once they gained a better understanding of their bodies. Conclusion Squirting is a natural physiological response that some women experience, while others do not. It is not an indicator of sexual skill or satisfaction, nor is it something that all women should expect to happen. The scientific community continues to explore the origins and purpose of squirting, but the bottom line is that it's a normal variation of female sexual response. Ultimately, the most important takeaway is that each person's body is unique, and sexual experiences should be based on comfort, consent, and mutual enjoyment. There is no right way to experience pleasure, and whether a woman squirts or not has no bearing on her sexual fulfillment. What truly matters is embracing one's body, understanding its responses, and feeling empowered in one's own sexuality.